This is an unboxing and some information about the Fun Cup Menstrual Cup by the Fun Factory. Hello everyone, it's Fred Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This cup is very unique. I've never seen another one out on the market like it before. And although the Fun Factory has been around as a sex toy company since 1996, the Fun Cup Menstrual Cup is brand new to their line. The Fun Cup does come in a pack of two, no matter if you get a small, large, or the Explorer pack, which includes one small and one large. The pack costs $39.99 USD, and they do have a US site. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link it down on the bottom, but my package or my box did get shipped out of California. Someone asked if it did come in a discreet packaging, and I did get a box. The only thing on the box was a label. Their name on it was FFUSA, which stands for Fun Factory USA. Although you don't get to choose the colors that you receive, you do get two colors within your pack. The colors differ to which pack you get. I do want to mention before I take you down to the table that most of the cups that I purchased from a sex toy company turn white when I'm stretching them. Either that company had used a high consistency rubber or they didn't do the peroxide curing correctly or skipped it altogether. I'm happy to say that these cups don't turn white when I stretch them. If you're interested in reading about my contact with silicone manufacturers, which includes manufacturers of silicone, not manufacturers of a menstrual cup, the link to all of that correspondence will be in the description below. Their pamphlet is one of the best pamphlets that I've ever received with a menstrual cup. It does look quite long, but only one side is in English. It gives you some information about why they chose the design that they did. And you'll notice right down here that they did try to touch down a little bit about trying to create a product that was gender neutral. Here are the different kits or different sizes that they have to offer. There had been some discussion about using this cup while having penetrative sex. That is not what they had intended. Uh, they do not suggest using the cup while you are having penetrative sex. What they were talking about is using a menstrual cup or using their menstrual cup doesn't dry you out like using a tampon would. So as soon as you remove your menstrual cup, you can have penetrative sex because all of your bodily secretions have not been absorbed by a tampon. They do, however, mention using the fun cup while having oral sex, strapping on a harness, masturbating, or even shallow penetration with a finger or a toy. And if you can have shallow penetration with a finger or toy, what's the difference between that and a penis? Please remember that a menstrual cup will not prevent an unwanted pregnancy and will not protect you against STDs. You do get a user manual with your set and some of this stuff is covered in the pamphlet but this just goes over how to use the cup itself. Their pouch is very unique. It is a triangle and it has a little uh, magnetic clasp right there and it is made out of Tyvex. It's antimicrobial and it has this like, uh, I don't know what to call it, but I'll say spring action to it right there. So just kind of snap shut. Uh, it's kind of like those coin purses that you pinch the two sides and it opens up. And finally, here are the fun cups in the size small and in a size large. So the Fun Cup is made out of medical grade silicone and for my buddy in Poland, uh, if you had clicked on this video, it is shaped kind of like a short devil horn. From the rim, it curves around on one side uh, and then tapers down to a point, a rounded point, uh, and it's like if you stuck your tongue out and made it firm, it comes to that point and it curves up a little bit. The Fun Factory claims that this shape fits your body better and having that uh, tapered tip makes it easier to adjust. The total length of the small cup or the size A is 50 millimeters and I measured that 
having the rim flush to the top of my caliper. The diameter of this small is 38 millimeters. When I filled this cup up to the very top of the rim, it held 25 milliliters. The total length of the larger cup or the size B cup is 54 millimeters. And again, I did uh, place the rim flush with the calipers. The diameter on the large is 42 millimeters. And while filling it all the way to the very top of the rim, it held 35 milliliters. Obviously, they do not have a stem like you would normally see on a menstrual cup. Instead, they have this rounded point, and there is a solid piece of silicone right there at the point, and it ends right about there on this large cup. This gives you a secure area to pinch down on when you're removing the cup. I would suggest against trying to shave this down, file it down, or trimming it. Instead of having grip rings, they have these little teardrop shaped uh, grip dots, and they are on this side, and if I turn it around, they are also on this side. This cup has a smooth texture. It's kind of like that peach skin feeling uh, for some grippiness, and when I pinch my fingers down on it and pull, my fingers don't slide very quickly over the silicone, but this cup is dry. It might act differently when it is wet. If it does slip, I'm really glad that they did put that solid piece of silicone at the tip there because it really does uh, prevent your fingers from just sliding right off. There is one seam to mention, and you can see it right there. It starts at the rim, goes up and around to the other side, and back down again. This cup has four air holes. There's two on this side and two on this side. They're set quite low from the rim of the cup, and I would consider these pin holes. You can see one right there and one right there. As you get near to the rim of the cup, there is a thickening of the silicone and you can see the color change from this light blue to a darker blue right there. So it does have like an invisible secondary rim. At the top rim, there is a slight indentation that goes all the way around the cup. Uh, the rim on this cup isn't a thick, meaty piece of rim like a lot of the other cups out on the market. There is, however, a inner rim or an inner ring, and if I insert my nail into the cup and kind of slide it to the rim, my nail does get hooked right there. It is reminiscent of the Lily Cup or the Exo Flow Cup, uh, but this one is nice and rounded. Other than the teardrop grip dots, there are no other markings on the outside of this cup. The inside of this cup has their brand name. It's right there and it reads Fun Factory. On the opposite side, they have measuring lines and numbers and they read 15 and 30 milliliters. According to my Clue app, I'm 11 days late of having my period, so I still have not been able to give these cups a try. Well, that's all I have about the fun cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below if you picked up a set and if you got to try it already, let me know what your experience was. Until I see you next time, take care. Mwahahaha, <laughs> fun cup! <laughs>